Hi, I'm Joy Rose with the Hobby Lobby Creative Studio, and today we're going to talk about craft paint. Now there's all sorts to choose from, so today we'll give you the lowdown on what Hobby Lobby has to offer, plus provide you with some great ideas on how to use them. Starting off our tour of craft paint is the super versatile acrylic. Not only does acrylic paint come in a huge array of colors and finishes, but it can be used on surfaces ranging from chipboard or paper mache boxes, like we've done here, to metal, wood, terracotta, and more. Acrylics are non-toxic too and easy to clean up with just soap and water, so even kids can get in on the crafting. And if you can't find the color you're looking for in the store, it's a cinch to mix acrylics to achieve that perfect hue. Now that's acrylic craft paint. Let's talk about enamel acrylic paint. This is a water-based paint that shares the same qualities as classic oil-based enamels that are often used on walls, furniture, and even model cars. The great thing about enamel acrylic paint, though, is that it can be cured, which means that it's dishwasher safe. Just read the specifics on the back of the bottle on how to do just that. Now, enamel acrylic paint is going to be your go-to medium for glass and ceramic projects. You'll only need one or two coats for really opaque coverage, and it has this polished, high gloss finish that's just fantastic. You can use it on outdoor projects too, since it's so durable, or try outdoor specific paint found right next to the enamel acrylic paint in our crafts department. Okay, now we're gonna jump from the glossy enamel acrylic paint to the velvety matte finish of chalky paints. Home decor pieces and crafts like these get their distressed vintage looks by pairing chalky paint with crackle medium or wax. They're made especially for each other, so with a little practice, you're sure to get just the look you want. You could also try layering different colors of chalky paint so that with a little sanding, the bottom coat shows through like this. Now, if a brush just won't cut it, try spray paint. It gives a smooth, all-over coverage to even the most intricate objects. You can try spray paint in classic colors and finishes like we've used for this project, or go for something a little different with our more unique spray paints. This mirrored glass was done with looking glass paint. This DIY slate was done with chalkboard spray paint. And how about this sea glass project? There's a spray paint for that too. Just follow the precautions listed on the can and you're good to go. Now last but not least, you'll definitely want to try some of our specialty paints. How about glow in the dark and glitter paints? We all know how glow in the dark paint can be used to create a starry night in a kid's room. But how about using it in the backyard? These stepping stones are beautiful and fun when the sun is out. And at night, they're functional too. And that's just the start of what you can do with glow-in-the-dark paint. Glitter paint is another favorite, especially because trying to add loose glitter to projects can be so messy. You can brush on the glitter paint or spray it on like we've done here. That way it gets all those nooks and crannies for a perfect finish. So there you go. You can now walk down the craft paint aisle with complete confidence and pick out that perfect paint for your next project. Thanks so much for joining us today at the Hobby Lobby Creative Studio. Remember, we have more videos for inspirations and how-to tutorials. We'll see you here next time.